Well, good day and welcome to Styro Chat. Today let's have a further discussion on our fiberglass protruded inserts and our PVC insert range that you can put inside a Styromax panel. If you uh, take a look at our display that we've got inside the showroom here, uh, we've got a couple of range of um, inserts uh, inside this panel that we had at the time when we made this a few years ago. Um, obviously our range has expanded over the years. Uh, if we take a look at up here, we've got Styro Beam LT. This is our 45 by 25 pull-truded beam, uh, generally used for um, support around a AC hole cut. So you can then get your power through your panel to uh, feed the um, AC unit, or they can be used elsewhere, say in showers, where it's, uh, the cavity's big enough to get water hoses inside. Uh, we move further down into our lighting area. We've got a couple of different PVC ones here. We've got Styro Conduit uh, Single, which is our 16 by 12. We have our Styro Conduit Triple, which measures 46 by 12, but it's, uh, it's split into three different compartments, so you can split your um, high voltage and low voltage wire. Okay, frequently asked question, what is your most commonly used styro insert? Well, I would have to say it's, the, uh, it's from the pultruded range. Um, it's a mixture of the styro conduit small, styro conduit large, and the styro beam LT. Okay, frequently asked question, which is the best styro conduit to use, uh, say, in a shower enclosure where you might have a little uh, electric fan vent. I would say it's probably a mix between Styro Conduit Single and the Styro Conduit Small. I tend to sort of lean towards the Cairo Styro Conduit Small uh, a little bit more as the cavity is a bit bigger to get just a few more wires through. Frequently asked question, what's the best conduit to use in your rear wall for your tail lights. Um, I would say it's a, gonna be a mixture between the Styro Conduit Large or perhaps even the Styro Beam LT. Um, I'd probably lean towards the Styro Beam LT if you had a large rear door opening. Um, if you didn't, it was just a solid back wall, I'd probably jump with the uh, Styro Conduit Large. Okay, frequently asked question, how do I find my conduits? Well, first thing to do, I guess, would be to head for your drawings that you got uh, before the panels were produced, and you can find your uh, conduits via the detailed sketch. Now, sometimes that's not e as easy as it sounds because you've already fitted out and then next minute you've got a wall in the way. So to try and measure from the datum point or the start of the panel can sometimes be quite difficult, but there's a really neat trick, and you're gonna like this one. Okay, well here we have it. We've got a typical roof panel here. This one's out of a slide on. Now this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six conduits inside the, uh, the panel. And of course we've got a detailed drawing, but if I can't find my detailed drawing or I can't measure it anymore, what's the easiest way to find it? Well, it's right here. A stud finder. A simple stud finder from your hardware store. You've probably got one on your shelf in your shed. It's that easy. I'll show you how. Okay, so Virtually, you just turn your stud finder on. I like to set it to half an inch uh, on the settings if you do have that one. And then it's simple as just, you can, uh, if you can hear this one going off, you just drag it over the panel just like you would with your wall at home. There's a Styro Conduit single. And there's a couple of uh, Styro Beam LTs. It's that easy, a stud finder. Okay, now look further to that, um, all this is doing is finding different densities within the panel. So if we look at this one here, this is a sidewall. This has got some 42 by 19 uh, pine inside the panel. That's what this manufacturer wants. So if we look the stud finder across here, you can see that it's, uh, it's finding the different density. It's that easy. Okay, now in this caravan here that we did for our second DIY show, we've actually got a 40 by 20 styro conduit large inside this wall, and it's actually closer to the inside face. So what that is, we've machined this into the 25 mil styrene, and there's actually five mil of foam 
to the outside face of this beam in behind this skin. Now the, uh, which is a really cool thing, is the, the, um, is the stud finder still actually finds it. So there it is. So even though we've got this beam to the inside face of this wall, if the customer ever wanted to put something on the outside face and he wasn't sure where the, the beam was, you can actually find it. There it is. And of course, if you had any 240 volt inside there, powered up, if your stud finder was so equipped, it'd be alerting you to that as well to be careful.